All right, welcome back to another episode of your Edmonton Oilers GM mode. Year three playoffs are about to be underway. We just lost two Twitch viewers because they probably thought I was leaving. Um, I guess I didn't make it very clear that I was just doing an outro for YouTube and I was going to keep streaming along. But uh, these are the lines going forward. I like them. Maybe I could have upgraded Tyler Benson. James Neal, man, we, we kept him for the entirety of his contract. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we kept him for the entirety of his contract. And you know what, man? He had one good year on that contract. But 20 goals, see, I'm not going to complain about a 20 goal score. I'm not going to complain about a 20 goal score. Uh, Goaltending, Igor Shesterkin and Stuart Skinner are our boys. Stuart, wait, what? That makes more sense. He had an 894 in the NHL, but a 921 in Bakersfield. Two minute power play for the Bruins. Damn. Now's their chance, right? <laughs> yeah, let's get hyped. Exactly. Yo. The Bruins got this, man. The Bruins got this. Uh, AHL squad, how'd they do this year? Oh, that second line nailed it. That third line did well, too. Third time is the charm, hopefully. Hopefully. How about, how'd Prosser do? How'd Prosser do? One power play goal, one assist. Ah, he's getting better. He's getting better. Third time's the charm, baby. Let's go. All right, well, we got Minnesota. We got Minnesota in round number one. They beat us last time we played them, but we're looking for some revenge. We're hungry for that win. Yo, we came out flying. Let's go. Keep up the momentum, boys. Let's go. Put it away in four. Come on, end it. End it. We're mad. We're mad. We're playing hungry. We're mad. We want to end this series right here, right now. Let's go. We were kept to less than six goals only once in this series. That, that, my friend is exactly what kind of hockey we expect out of these Edmonton Oilers. And we finally got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's stealing uh, He's stealing Phil Kessel's nickname, Phil the Thrill. Yeah, yo, Nurse is on fire, dude, on that second unit. What the hell? First unit was mad, but yo, <laughs> yo Ethan Barron, drug test him? Nah, dude, I, I'm looking the other way. You do what you got to do. 883, Shesterkin was terrible, and we still won. I'm looking the other way, man. I don't want to know what he's doing. All I know is I want him to keep doing it. <laughs> if it means he plays like that for the rest of the time. All right, Anaheim. We know you have. We know you have Sonny Milano. We know you have Maxime Comtois. But we got this. <clears throat> I believe in this team. Come on, boys. We're hungry. We're hungry. Well, we're still hungry. We want it. Oh my God. We're down three-one. I mean three-nothing. Donald Nurse has not had a point this round. Um, so first. First line, bad. So James Neal's getting the call up. Third line's been good, so I'm, logically I'm splitting them up for some reason. Oh my god, do I dare? Why do I dare break up that chemistry? Hey, thank you. I appreciate that you like me as a streamer. Thank you. Thanks. I'm just trying to have fun, man. I, I play NHL on my own. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not make it a fun time? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not have other people here too? <clears throat> All right, we're gonna we're gonna make some changes to the lineup here. I want to find a way to get people going. Damn it! I this is gonna be the lineup. Call me crazy, but that's the lineup. Goaltending Igor Shesterkin, dude. What are you doing? Stuart Skinner gets the Stuart Skinner gets. The, NHL 21 song is playing? No, there's no way it's playing. I have my uh, I have my music off. Are you serious? I have no music on right now though. I don't have a song on. What the heck? Are you sure? I don't I don't have a Oh, on the live game. Okay. Dude, I was like, "What?" No, I <laughs> I was freaking out. Oh, my God. All right, let's go. This is do or die. Anaheim's got us on the ropes here. I was freaking out, man. I don't want to... Yo, Maxim Contois already. Oh, my God. <sighs> Get me out of here. Oh, my... Yo, we got swept. We just got swept by Anaheim. They heard me trashing them. They heard me trashing them before, calling them bad. Let's see. Wait, they had Ovi. How old am I? I'm 21, my friend. I'm 21. Pretty young. Um, 
Oh my god, look at this team! Look at this team! Yo, they're a powerhouse, man. No wonder why they destroyed us. Mr. Lazy, I like it. I like that name. Thank you for calling me that. That's awesome. I like that. Look at this team! Oh my god. Oh my, yo, he grew. He never grows, man. It's nice to see him grow for once. Oh my, he didn't even play well. He didn't do anything. Who? Brad, Chris Tanev, are you serious? Is putting up points. Cam Fowler. Hayden Fleury's, what? Why is Hayden Fleury high top? Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, there's a reason for Milano and Contour are that high. Um, so I'm doing this series, like this competition series. So um, <laughs> there's a reason for this. Once I finish a series and I win a, wait, as soon as I win a cup, the series is done. Okay, and I decide an MVP of that series. So, like I've done Toronto, I've done Boston, I've done yeah, Troy Terry's a seventy nine. I, I think that's just how they have them in EA Sports. Um, but it's remember it's also year three, so it makes sense. He kind of grew, right? Um, but okay, so like I've already done Anaheim, I've done I think I did San Jose, I've done Anaheim, I've done um, a few other teams. Okay, and so at the end of that series, I declare a an MVP, right? And so that MVP gets boosted to what their ending overall was. So when I did Anaheim, Maxim Contois was my MVP. So he ended up. So when I played with Maxim Contois, right, and as Anaheim, I grew him to an 89 at the base overall that EA started him as. So he was a medium top six forward, and so I grew him to an 89 in my simulation. And then he ended up being my um, my MVP. So I boost him to 89 for the next series. That way it gets harder and harder for me. So that's why Milano and Contour are so, so high value. Oh shit, TG Oshi. I actually like TG Oshi. I feel kind of <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I like TG Oshi. Um, he's the only player right now on the Caps that I like right now. Um, and I guess Ovechkin. I like Ovechkin. But I'll give you another example, right? So... I've done Anaheim already. Contois was my series MVP, so he got boosted. Uh, I did an expansion series. Milano was my MVP. He got boosted. I did Boston. Tre uh, Jack Sanico was my MVP. He got boosted. Um, I did... Who else did I do? What the heck? Why can't I remember? I did Minnesota. Theodore Ullman was my MVP. He gets created. You know what I mean? Um, who else? I done. I've done. Did I do the Devils? I think I did the Devils already. Yeah, I did the Devils, but I don't remember who my. Oh yeah, I did the Devils. So, uh, Ty Smith was my MVP. He got boosted. Um, <clears throat> I did Ottawa. I did Ottawa, and Batherson was my MVP, so he got boosted. You know what I mean? Like it just, it just makes it so that after I finish with the team. They get a bonus help, and it makes it so that the next team I do is harder. Yeah, so like I was saying, so I've done Minnesota already, and he's a player I drafted during that series. If you want to check it out on YouTube, you can. Um, he's a player I drafted during my Minnesota series, and he ended up being the MVP of my series, right? So then I go, and I take the MVP, and I boost him to their current overall. So, <clears throat> yeah, I know Taves and this is Anaheim in this series, too. But because uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, I guess I guess your your Blackhawks traded him. I don't know, but uh, he gets traded a lot in this. I find in this game, he gets traded a lot. Um, <clears throat> but so Theodore Allman was my my MVP. So I need him to be on Minnesota for when I start my next series. You know what I mean? So he he's there now. He's a creative he's a creative player. Um, like I'll give you another example, like just to make sure, you're, like just to like Chekovic. He was my MVP by the end of my. Uh, San Jose Sharks series, he grew to an 88, so I boosted him to 88 to start when I do my next series. So that way, San Jose is a bit better. So that way, every time I finish a series, it gets harder and harder for me as I go along. And, um, yeah, I think Taves could be Hall of Fame. I think Taves could be Hall of Fame. I think Taves could be Hall of Fame. Depends, depends how he plays out the rest of his career, but, dude... I think he, wait, he has like three cups. I, I always forget how many cups uh, Chicago has got with him. I think he has three, right? Two or three. Just that alone. And the longevity is, of his career is probably going to be a hockey hall. Exactly. Exactly. Guaranteed. 
I mean, as long as he doesn't like just stop playing today. Yeah, he has three cups. Like if he if he were to stop playing today, like right now, then maybe not. But if he just finishes out his career, no matter what he does, he's gonna get MVP. he's gonna get Hall of Fame for sure. Without a doubt in my mind, for sure. Jason Spezza finally retired at forty. I love Jason Spezza. I love Jason Spezza. I always liked him as a player. Yeah, John and Taves is a great captain. I agree. I agree fully with that. John and Taves is a great captain. How much uh, How much time's left in the game? How are they doing? How are the teams doing? You always pick a favorite player and then until draft and you, you track them? Yo, who's this guy? High top nine? <laughs> And why do we have nothing on any of these guys? Yo, it's a grinder. Owen Nolan comparison? My god. And yeah, dude, EA Sports, man. You never know. You never know anymore, dude. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you? <laughs> we got a medium elite player again. Thank you? EA Sports, thank you? I don't know what else to say. Yeah, my you know, they need they need that. They need a first overall pick, man. That team needs to rebuild. As a Habs fan, they need to rebuild. Build around Caulfield. Build around Kokanyemi. Build around Suzuki. That's what you gotta do. Um because Weber's on his last legs right now. <laughs> Weber's on his last legs. Hurricane's pick turns into an elite who's a playmaker. Exactly. We turn Chris Drieger, an 82 overall signing, into a medium elite center. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll let you pick. I'll let you pick. I'll give you a chance to pick here. Don't me to scroll down or anything, or the linglet. That's why I do. Oh my god, what the hell? I did not see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. This draft sucks. I'm training down. Almond. There's a guy named Almond. Oh, I think I missed it. I'll check him out though. I'll go check him out for you. You want to draft this one? All right, I'll let you, I'll let you nab this one. Sean Almond. Where is he? Is he gone? Another post for the Caps. Damn. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Oh, no, we got him. Let's go. Okay, yeah, we're good. You like the pick or you don't like the pick? Oh, Ottawa got a steal. Dimitriev. Is there anybody you want to pick here? Any, uh... Ooh. I might go with the goalie. I don't know. Chevry? Chevry looks pretty good. Rick Pekka looks kind of good. I think I like the goalie. What do you think? You want, would you want the goalie? Nah. No goalie? Go back? Okay, I'll go back. There's not much around here. Schroeder, Sezikis, Sezikis, any team would love his mentality, sure, yeah, why not, I like his attitude, ah, that's not bad, that's not bad, you need players like that, oh, two fifths, no thanks, um, but yeah, you, you need players like that, oh no, my, the, oh, the goalie, <laughs> the goalie would have been a really good pick. A goalie would have been a really good pick. I'm going to go with Skylar Asham. I don't know why. I just want to take him. Ah, that's pretty bad. The Cavs almost scored again? Jeez, man. I thought he'd be available here. The goalie? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'm going to go with Malikov. I'm just going to take a chance on these low elite guys. Because you never know. 
These drafts are always bad. <laughs> Five minutes left in the game. Ooh, baby. I have to watch this now. I'm going to put it on my phone. I'm gonna get, I don't think I can watch it in my region, though. I don't think it's on Sportsnet. If it's not on Sportsnet, I can't watch it. Oh, I can watch it. All right, yo, I got the game on right now. I'm following along with you. No, we we don't have that here in Canada. I'm in Quebec. I don't think I have that here. I have Sportsnet. But uh, luckily, Sportsnet's watching it, so we're good to go. Louis Varaha, six foot five, big boy. I'll take him. This draft is terrible. Holy crap. Oh, man. This is a close game. Uh, for me, there's four minutes left in the game. There's, well, four, 408 as I'm saying this. Six foot six. There's a lot of six foot six players. I'm going to go with the biggest weight. Biggest weight class. Six foot six. Enforcer. <laughs> Tate Regan. Let's go. That's the last pick of the draft. I want to see. Yeah, same. You have like a three second delay. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, all right, there you go. Send a resign phase. NHL goalie coach. Let's see if we can bring back any of these good scouts. Three thirty. I think you're a bit ahead of me. I think you're a bit ahead of me. Whenever I watch on my phone, it's slightly behind. So, which I'm not complaining about. I get to watch a game from my phone. That's pretty sick. With the uh, five TV app or whatever with Bell. All right, there we go. Oh, goalie coach needs to resign. Oh, I'll gladly bring him back. Oh no, he's not gonna sign here. <laughs> he's not gonna sign here. Yeah, I, I have about the same. I think we're. I think we have the same amount of time left. This is such a close game. Yo, they're really grinding in the corner there. My God. <laughs> Yo, there's like three guys on them. All right, there you go. All expiring. Darnell Nurse, what do you want, my guy? Niemi looks like a pig. <laughs> poor Niemi. Leave it. Yo, leave Anti Niemi alone. That poor guy. He's had a good career, though, Anti Niemi. Oh, my God. Seven million? Are you serious? Oh, my. Yo, I'm qualifying you, bro. I don't know. I'm not paying that much money. Get out of here. All right, four... I'll give you like 4.5. Justin Schultz. Oh, hit the post. Oh my goodness. Oh, not anti. Okay, okay, okay. That age. <laughs> he does a little bit. He did a little bit, actually, now that you mentioned it. Uh, James Neal. I'll bring back James Neal at 1.6. That's fine by me. Luke Green. You're more than welcome here, my guy. No guard, Nygaard. Matt Molson this year's photo looks scary. He does look a little bit creepy, eh? Matt Molson. He's, I don't know what it is, but he just looks a little creepy to me. Yo, Aturati, man. He's about to make his NHL debut this year. 78 overall medium elite prospect. Let's go. Dude, that's a fleece and a half. I'll, I'm definitely going to downgrade him in the next... Uh, when I do my roster editing stuff, I'm going to definitely downgrade them. The reason why I don't do too many roster editing things with EA Sports is because, like, I might as well just wait till 22 comes out. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't want to do too much roster editing. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. For a backup goalie, 1.6 mil is beautiful. Um... Oh wow, the <laughs> that's actually a not a that's not a, that's a bad word on uh, really that's blocked on uh, Twitch. Interesting. That's blocked on Twitch. What the heck, huh? The c word. Interesting. I didn't know that. Uh oh, am I not gonna be able to sign my? I might have messed up. All right, well, Vili Niemi said no, so we don't want him anyway. Yeah, I'll just keep it removed. 
Oh no. We have too many goalies. I'm gonna buy out uh I'm gonna buy out Wells. We need Wathers we know we need to sign uh Bikov. Oh man, two twenty six left in the set in the second uh the third period. Whew, it's a close game. How much money do we have? Two million? Uh twenty two million? Clefbaum said no. And four point seven. Darnell Nurse wants I'll give him six. Six by six. Alright, Clefbaum said yes. Uh, Cliff Bomb said yes. Dominic Cahoon, please say yes to 6.7 at least. And then uh, Nurse, 6.2. Oh my gosh. We're so close to getting everyone back. Or not everyone, because uh, what's what's his name? Uh, Evan Bouchard still needs to be. Bro, Dominic Cahoon, why are you going to do me like this, man? We made you. We made you who you are, my guy. Without us, you would not be an 86 overall. What the heck? Alright, I'll give you exactly what you want. If you say no... Pff, get out of here. We want someone else anyway. We don't want you anyway. <laughs> Ungrateful. Ungrateful. Without us, he'd still be a bottom bottom forward line guy. Get out of here, Dominic. Dominic Cahoon. Can't even pronounce your name. <laughs> get out of here with that. Yo, look at this dude. Thinks he's worth as much as Phil Kessel. Get out. He's worth more. Than, uh, pff, get out of here. We don't want you anymore anyway. Yeah, yo, 151 to go. Bad icing. Yo, Taylor Hall's bleeding, man. What happened to him? Did they not call anything on that? Taylor Hall's been stitched up, frozen. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Poor guy. Hmm. Nick Ritchie, what did he do? I must have missed something. I didn't see it. Philip Schlappick, does he fit the second line? Not really. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I don't like like I don't like the Bruins very much either. But if I had to pick between the two, God. I hate the Capitals. Really? You hate the Penguins too? I don't mind the Penguins. Um, alright, Johnny Huberto. I want a good playmaker here. I want a good playmaker to replace Cahoon. I want a playmaker to replace Cahoon. Jack Dugan. They're a good playoff team. Yeah, the Capitals are a good playoff team for sure. There's no denying that. But uh, good old Canadian boy Tyler Steenbergen. Let's give him an eight-year deal. Seven-year deal, 1.1. If he says no to this, I'll be surprised. I mean, Evan Bouchard wants $7 million. I'll try him at 6.8. Everyone, welcome to the stream. Six viewers watching. I think that's the highest I've ever had in a stream. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate all of you being here. Especially shout out to Iconic Brothers who's been here the whole time. Hanging out, having a good time. So welcome, everybody, to the stream. All right, let's get a good teaching stat, goalie. Oh, now you're an AHL associate coach. You refuse to sign one, but what the heck? OT, let's go. Yeah, oh yeah, I just noticed that. I'm very excited for this. Very excited for this. Very good game, too, so far. This game could go forever. <laughs> this game could go forever, what the hell? The Bruins and Caps tied 2-2. Two to two. This game could last forever. Holy cow. 
What a great start to the playoffs, though. All right, Vili Niemi just signed back with us in the role that we offered him before that he didn't want. And we got him for eight years, so sweet. And then we got the AHL goalie coach. And then Jeff Petrie's being offered. I don't want Jeff Petrie, if I'm being honest. Who's this Watherspoon guy? Oh, the goalie. We have so many defensive prospects. <laughs> I mean, goalie prospects. Jack Dugan, Tyler Steenbergen say yes. I'm not trading Atu Ratti. Are you serious? Bro, the guy's 78 overall, medium elite. I ain't trading that away. I ain't trading that away. What the heck? EA Sports has lost their minds if they think I'm trading him away. <laughs> no one's getting him from me. Not, not right now. Hell no. I like that Semin guy. Uh, on my team, the prospect. They like the prospect Semin. I liked Alex Semin when he played. He was a good player. <laughs> the word that starts with C. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you like it, you like it. James Neal is now 78 overall. He's going to be a good depth player for us here. Julian Goatsey gets his ice time up here. Eight-year deal with 2.4 mil. I'm more than happy to sign him for that. Uh, Pavel Zak on the second line with him. Kirill Maximov is not going to make it this year. Sorry, dude, but you ain't cut out for the first line. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> I think there is a player in the league, though, who has that as a name. Do you remember Duncan Siemens? I don't know if you remember him, but I, I, don't know why, I don't know why I remember his name. Probably for that exact reason. But, uh... <laughs> Alright, we're going to send down Maximov, him, and Lajson. Duncan Stevens, new favorite player. I don't think he plays anymore. I think he retired. Sadly. All right, let's get uh, let's get our boy Aturati in here. He can't take a face off to save his life, though. Can't take a face off to save his life. We're going to put the nudes there. Put you there. James Neal and Nygaard, that's fine. Bouchard, Nurse, Clefbaum, Larson. And then Broberg. Please be good, Philip Broberg. Yes! Philip Broberg. Let's go. I really like this plus three, but I'm going to put Nurse up there this year. <clears throat> All right, Luke Green, where do you fit? Mm. I like Luke Green, but I'm going to send him down. Kulikov, you're going to be sent down as well. Philip Broberg, yeah, he is a pro. He is a pro indeed. Holy crap. Yo, the, the cross checks are real. <laughs> Did you see that highlight? Did you, <laughs> Did you see that highlight? Oh my god. Ovechkin got cross checked in the face. Alright, I'm going to call up Steenbergen. There's a few players I want to test out. I signed them for that exact reason. There's Steenbergen. There was Dugan. Yeah, Steenberg and Dugan. Deserved? I didn't see what he did beforehand. I didn't see what he did beforehand. I just saw the, the cross checks. So we have Dugan. Oh my gosh, my voice just made a weird noise. Or Tyler Steenbergen. I mean, considering I signed Tyler Steenbergen to like the longest contract ever, I should probably get him going. Look at this dude, Tyler Steenbergen. Who's got the better speed? Zaka. Zaka's playing the wing. Look at this dude. What's not to love about Tyler Steenbergen, right? Any snipers out here? Hmm. Oh, he just got punched in the face. That's a bad penalty. That's such a bad penalty. Dude, 
The Oshi hit was so bad by Lozon. Oh my god, that was bad. Dude, he just fought, punched him in the face. It wasn't even a body check. It wasn't even a body check. <laughs> Dude, what's this game come to? He scratched? What the hell? Uh, Markov, who's this guy? I don't want Markov on here. I want, I want, I want this team to dominate. I want Svechnikov in here. There we go. And then we have a power forward. Cooper Meredith's not playing there. Don't worry. Ryan McLeod. Tulio. Yeah, TD Guard in playoff hockey is so good. Honestly, playoff hockey anywhere is so good. You know what I mean? There's just something about hockey, man. In the playoffs, it's just a different sport. It's just such a different sport. You know what I mean? I find there's just something about hockey in the playoffs. It's just, there's nothing like it. Other than maybe like, like the Premier League and stuff. Like those are pretty insane too. Their playoffs. But you know what I mean? Like there's just something about hockey in the playoffs. It's just a different game. Who's this Pavelski guy? I'll give Pavelski a chance here. Blumel. I'll trade uh, Tulio maybe for Markov. Yeah, yo, the the wings. <sighs> yeah, dude, imagine having playoff hockey in Little Caesars Arena. That would be something to watch. That would be something to watch for sure. Cool cause being traded. Right, cool cause being traded. Benson's being traded. Meredith's being traded. Nationwide arena. Dude, the Bell Center. The Bell Center, man. <laughs> In Montreal. Oh my god. You pair you pair playoff hockey with Montreal's nightlife when there's no COVID. It's a beautiful place to play hockey. Oh my god. Or to watch hockey. It's amazing. It's amazing. Even when the Raptors were on that run, even when the Toronto Raptors had their run there, Montreal was... Yeah, like, Toronto was obviously crazy, but, like, even Montreal, man, like, there... There was, uh... There was a lot going on. The Blues are quiet. I don't, I've, I've never seen Blues playoff hockey, being honest with you. Never seen it. Never watched it on live TV. Never seen it. The only time I ever watched it was when they won the Cup, and... Honestly, the Bruins arena was crazy loud. I don't remember the I don't remember much about the the other arena though, I'm being honest with you. Ooh, who's this guy? Tristan Bird. Oh yeah, I forgot we drafted him. 78 overall already. We don't have room for him right now, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sign him, but we have, we have some options going forward. Look at look at our goalie prospects. Holy crap. We got some options going forward, my friend. Yo, this team. This team is something else. Wait, who's I training again? <laughs> I got confused. Um, if you go to one arena, watch the playoffs, in what arena would you choose? Okay, if I did not live in Montreal, I would pick the Bell Center. Unanim not unanimously, but like, you ask almost any NHL player which arena is the craziest to play in, hands down, they almost all say the Bell Center, right? Montreal fans are nuts. Like, they're crazy, including myself. We're all nuts. Um, so, like, there's just something about Montreal. Hot, what the hell? Well, I guess I can take this off anyway. You know what I mean? But, yeah, exactly. So, besides Montreal, since I live in Montreal anyway, I could just, if I had the money, I'd pay for it. So, if I had to pick any other arena, I'd probably say Vegas. I'd probably say Vegas. They make everything a show. It'd be so entertaining. I I feel like I I would love to see a Vegas game. Uh, they're so new. They do so much different than everyone else. Like I would love 
love to see a Vegas game. Like live. Sharks playoff game, yeah, their their goal horn is so loud. But I'd have to go with Vegas, hands down. Um, so who was I trading? I was trading away Cooper Merity. Where is he? Cooper Merity and Tyler Benson and Kulikov. So I'll just go do that on my own, I guess. But like I've heard so like uh, I used to I used to work in the yeah the Kings would be annoying. I used to work at a, at an arena at my local arena uh, as a as a janitor slash uh, Zamboni driver, and <clears throat> one of my coworkers he's he's a bit older but he used to always or he still does every year at Christmas he goes to Vegas as his vacation, and he'll watch Vegas Vegas Knights games and he tells me that their arena is insane. Like he's a Montreal guy. Like he lived in Montreal. He grew up in Montreal. He's a, he's he's definitely a Quebecer, um, French Quebec. And he was telling me that Vegas is something else. So, if I have a Canadians like a former Canadians fan telling me that Vegas is something else compared to like even like compared to the Habs, I'm taking his word for it. You know what I mean? Preds. Okay, yeah, the National Predators have the most um, synchronized. I think they're the most synchronized. Uh, trash talk I think I've ever heard of a fan like a fan base you know what I mean like you always hear on TV like they literally coordinate their chants so well I know that they do it on a screen and stuff but like it's tough exactly their chants it's tough to get that many people to get behind one chant you know what I mean but they do it they do it they find a way it's very 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 fun to hear <laughs> They call it the goalies name. They're like, hey, you suck. You know what I mean? Like, they yell it out so loud. It's so good. It's so good. So, yeah, I'd say Nashville would be pretty cool to watch too. But hands down, I'm going Vegas. I'm going Vegas. Thought to talk all this shit with a country song. as you call. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they love their song. They love their country down there in Nashville. Good for them. Let them enjoy their country, right? Let's try to get Tyler Steenberg and going. Wait, really? Okay. Uh, Steenberg in. He's got good faceoffs. Uh, the real deal, James Neal. Do we have any other snipers on this team that I can put on here? Nope. Julian Gautier. Sometimes they become trashville, but yeah, I guess. But all in all, Nashville's a great town, as far as I've heard. Great town to live in, great town to be in. So, I'm not going to diss it. I've never been, so I, I can't really say anything. Can't really say anything harsh about them if I've never been, right? Interesting. McDavid and Drysdale and Nugent Hopkins on the same power play gets me a plus. I'll take it. Uh, Pulley Yarvi with Zaka, Nurse, and Bear. I'll take it. Penalty kill. Dickinson, Steen Ooh, Steenberg, and Fitz. I like it. Broberg with Larson. And let's try Clef Bomb out here. Nygaard, Dry Saddle, that's fine. Alright, Pelling Kill. Let's do Dry Saddle Unit 1. Let's do Adam Larson. Let's do Nurse with uh, Clef Bomb. What the hell? Alright, then, okay, not him. Let's go Aturati. Let's get Aturati if he fits. Yes! The prospect, the prodigal son has arrived. You feel like some people can over-exaggerate the 2003 draft. I always thought it was the 2005 draft. Like, what's the draft with Weber, all those guys, like Weber and them? Who's in that draft? Who's in that draft? Whoever's in that, whatever draft that is, one with Weber and all them, that's the best draft of all time. For now, at least. The draft with uh, Marner and them is starting to, is probably going to compete with that. But, dude, if you if you have, like, Ryan Getzlav and Corey Perry going in the late 20s, like, mid to late first round, like, that's a pretty darn good draft. You know what I mean? Zach Parise, all those guys in that draft, whew, that's a good draft. 
That's a really good draft. Dude, the guy's always injured. Stamkos is always injured. That's the issue. Stammer's always injured. That's his problem. He just doesn't get to play. He's always injured. Yeah, yo, McDavid's draft is the one with Marner in it, right? That's one with Marner in it as well? Yeah. All right, YouTubers, those of you on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end it there. And then I'm going to do one more episode for those of you on Twitch. But for those on YouTube, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Turn on that notification button to see my daily videos. I post every day on weekdays at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Weekends, once at 11, once at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time as well. So four videos in the weekend. You get a lot of content to watch on your days off. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.